Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Blue liquor shields, dusty serfs, peasants, vassals, minions, meat sacks, tax cows. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, I'm back to the USA again to talk about uh, money and how much money the United States is spending on these wars. And this has become relevant again because, uh, well, America is at war again and will be uh, at war in the foreseeable future. And all the places where we've been in wars for the foreseeable future. Uh, so let's go back to the future first. Uh, uh, the uh, Harvard uh, professor, Linda uh, Bilmes, I think the study's actually been around a little longer. Uh, it's been uh, circulating again, but I think this uh, study's been out uh, maybe a year or so, actually. Uh, um, and uh, talks about the total cost of the war is, uh, in Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, it's going to be four to six trillion dollars before it's over. Um, so far, two trillion dollars has, has been spent. And uh, this has to do a lot with extended medical costs, uh, replenishment, military replenishment costs uh, after decades of war and, of course, nation building. And um, this has become relevant again because now uh, we're in these new wars and uh, we, uh, the United States has spent at least two billion dollars uh, so far. Uh, so here we go again. Uh, and it, will, it will add up fast. And uh, one of the things, of course, that's interesting about uh, the, the costs of the uh, Iraq and Afghanistan wars is uh, we have to remember that uh, the Bush administration and uh, his minions, um, of course, promised that uh, the war would pay for itself. And there was uh, even uh, people who uh, talked about the costs uh, being $200 billion, and, uh, and, and, and these members of the administration being drummed out uh, in, unceremoniously uh, for having the audacity to claim that the war would cost that much. Uh, so we, we have to remember that. But another thing we have to remember is uh, another contribution uh, to the cost of this war that the Bush administration, however nobly they were guided, uh, they increased military benefits in 2001, just as, as these wars began. And uh, so the, the legacy of uh, all these increased costs, uh, and, and certainly all the, uh, the living wounded uh, that will be using uh, veterans' benefits for the rest of their lives, um, of course, these are uh, added costs that uh, people aren't uh, thinking about uh, when these wars are unleashed. And uh, there's a legacy of these decisions that, uh, will, that stretch back all the way to World War II and Civil War, as a matter of fact, uh, benefits that are still being paid. Um, and now we have these decisions that uh, will stretch across federal budgets for decades uh, to come. And uh, it, historically, war costs mushroom over the years. So that's something to bear in mind as well. Uh, the costs don't end. Uh, for example, when the uh, Obama administration took over from the Bush administration, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that the costs of the war uh, just keep going on for uh, um, for the uh, theater of operation itself, but uh, these payments continue to increase. Uh, so payments to Vietnam and Gulf War veterans continue to climb uh, uh, even as the years go on. And I can vouch for that myself as my uh, father had to use uh, veterans benefits for being exposed to Agent Orange and uh, had health problems uh, all the way up to his death and relied on the VA uh, to help him with that. And uh, so uh, a two-sided coin to be sure. Um, I, I, sir, I get no argument from a lot of people that I would rather see uh, money spent on benefits uh, for veterans than a lot of things that the, the United States uh, does. But uh, certainly we all wish that veterans were a lot rarer than they are, shall we say. So another thing to think about, too, when we think about the, the costs and all this money, uh, $2 trillion spent so far on the Afghanistan and Iraq wars, is that it's borrowed money. It's, it's $2 trillion that's just added to the debt. So let's remember that we have to service uh, the interest on the, uh, that addition to the debt. Uh, so that's another thing that increases costs exponentially over the years. And, uh, and, and in fact, 20% of all uh, U.S. debt between 2001 and 2012 is interest on this debt. And uh, so uh, 
we have a, a huge explosion, budget explosions, in the Department of Defense and the Department of Veterans Affairs, and that's why uh, those costs continue to climb. So, so let's remember that you know if 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 the money spent on the the war is 20 percent of all U.S. debt, and these and costs uh, keep climbing exponentially, we just have to remember that um, uh, this makes the fact that uh, there's a huge amount of uh, acquired debt, exploding debt, that's passed on from one administration to the other. Uh, and certainly I'm not uh, wanting to get Obama off the hook for uh, his uh, neoliberal uh, spending mania, but uh, I also want to make sure everyone understands that uh, Bush uh, shares a lot of the blame for even the, the deficit problems that we have now on a number of fronts, but especially the mushrooming costs of wars, uh, ten, 10 years of which were under the Bush watch. But anyway, I, I digress. So now we find ourselves in this place where uh, now uh, we find out, uh, first of all, that we're going to be, uh, the United States is going to be in Afghanistan until at least 2024. So that is the new security agreement. So uh, we can look at uh, continued uh, billions and billions and hundreds of billions of dollars to be spent uh, for at least another 10 years in Afghanistan. And then more importantly, uh, we have this new uh, war against ISIS, new Iraq-Syria war. It's been costing $10 million a day, $2 billion so far. And uh, one estimate has been uh, $30 to $40 billion a year. year. One has been, uh, one, another estimate's been 4 to $22 billion a year. But the more, more likely, uh, if we look at the way um, government numbers tend to work, we can pretty much assume that uh, this first year, um, of war against ISIS, we can add another $100 billion uh, of borrowed money onto U.S. war debt that uh, seemingly will never end. And, uh, and then eventually we'll, we will have to, uh, once again, uh, pay the piper. So, uh, war money. Uh, money well spent. Uh, topic for another video. I'm a useful idiot, don't you be one too.